Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Gongamp, which is by Audio Thing in in Heimbach. Uh, at the moment, I've got it. I've got loads of uh, instruments set up to try this with. Um, this is this here is Landfall Totems uh, that Heimbach did with Spitfire Audio, and this is a a, a, a clean sound from that called Oscillator Keys. So Gongamp here is based on a really old, I think from 1932, developed by, um, I've got it here, but the guy who made the, um, the OMS, uh, let's see where it is here. So this is Gongamp and it's 59 uh, euros. And uh, it was developed from Heimbach's actual real device. He's got the actual amp. And you've kind of got to think of it as a um, an amplifier, like a, like a guitar amp. So it passes through this kind of gong. I'll switch it on. And even though it's an effect, if I tap this with my mouse, you'll see it's got some chains hanging over it. We can change the chains or we can take away the chains and we can even shove one of Heimbach's pillows in there as well like that to dampen the sound so we're going to go through all the sounds and stuff but the guy who developed the uh the ons martino he he designed this amp years and years a long time ago so again i'll switch it off here it is without and here it is with which is really, really nice. Now, I, I won't be spending like loads of time looking at the chat because usually it's on my computer screen and it's at the iPad and it's a bit small for me to see. So if it's not like I'm ignoring you or anything. So, <laughs> so we have, um, we can switch off the resonance and the stereo and then just have the mono. Then we have like modulation here. If we switch trip on, you'll see everything will move down here. You won't hear the stereo and the resonance because I have them turned down, off. You can speed it up. We can sync it to our doors tempo if we want here. So there's the mono, here's the stereo. So that's really nice. And then resonance. And of course we can blend between all three. We have a drive control. Then we have a dr oh, our, our dry and wet mix. And then a soft clip option here. Across the top. We can randomize everything, uh, save our own presets, of course, access a few uh, factory presets. But the most fun you're going to have with Gong Amp is actually just playing with it with different instruments and stuff. So you have modulation control. Then also here we have this howl. Which kind of makes the gong scream again. Then we have dynamics. And then we can go with some pitch options here. We it's off at the moment. We could go low. And then we can switch. 
switch everything on. And then we can just hit randomize. Now putting the actual cushion in there obviously dampens it down so if you didn't want it to be so resonant or reverb have so much reverberation you put the cushion in take one of the chains off switch the trip off So there's your basic controls. I shall just switch that one off for a moment. Minimize this, go back to reason. And go onto my vocal track here. Okay, so here it is, and I'm gonna switch it on for my voice. We'll open it up. So let's have a look what's going on. <clears throat> So if we pitch this low now, like that, you can get some spooky vocal effects going on, which is very cool. Also, now we've got some modulation going on, but very slow. We could speed that up. Hello. Whoa. Uh, and it'll run really fast like that and if we go complete wet and I've no there's more of gravy than grave about you Marley <laughs> so let's put it on to high pitch well that's normal switch the trip off blend in some more of the, my vocal one that's a really nice sound straight away one two away by playing both so if we take the chains off we don't get none of that kind of rattling around let's just have it stereo take some of the resonance down put the dynamics to low pitch up to high one 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 see the howl adds a little bit of extra top end what 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 one two three let's put the first set of chains on which is two two big chains one hear the chains rattle against the gong so in imagining the let's switch off a Imagine in the real instrument, if you go to Heimbach's YouTube channel, he's actually got a video where he's playing the real amp. It's actually a real thing. Uh, and it's really clever idea when you think about it. One, one. So hang the chains on again, and you'll hear them rattle. And then we have a set of smaller chains, but more of them. So you get more of a shimmery kind of effect. One, one. Wow. Wah, wah. Well, you never know, Wallet. It might be an iOS app one day. You never know. What, what, what? And then we have the cushion. Now, the cushion's really handy if you're obviously playing instruments like you, you, you don't want them to, you know, reverberate around too long or to have too much resonance. But you can still have control over things that are going on. It's just more subdued and controlled. So the low is nice with the cushion. And don't forget also, we can always at any time take out the wet mix completely. Very 
very useful for certain spatial effects. And I mean spatial and not special. Okay, so. That's me MIDI keyboard. Right, so you can also have all three of them in at the same time. Including the cushion. So you've got a real, let's just run this with the pitch just normal. Let's have the dynamics high. Let's have the howl on. And let's take the cushion out. One. Let's have the resonance right up. Blend in a bit of the mono signal. One. Two. No, no, it was, it, it was made in 1932 by the guy who developed the Ons Martineau. Uh, anyway, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll leave my mic on, obviously. So here we have the BBC Symphonic Orchestra Discover from Spitfire Audio. I shall pin that up. And I've just got like some horns. Which are, let's uh, open Gong Amp up for this. Let's switch it on first. Okay, so I'm just going to pin that as well. So here it is. If I, again, I'll bypass it. There's those very lovely horns from the Discover Orchestra. Switch gong amp on. You can see we've got some. This is just the initial presets I've played with. We've got some uh, chip going on, so some modulation. Let's increase the depth of this. And now with this with this setting, you can really hear the howl. So and it's really really nice. Switch the howl on. And you can see we've got lots of chains hanging over the front. Let's put some more on. Actually, let's increase the wet mix and actually let's just take the dry out and just have complete wet mix we'll have the soft clip switched on and we leave it as it is we'll make it super wide we've got now we now don't forget the original sound is just a brass sound right Slow it down. We've got. We'll get this very ethereal kind of fluttering. This is lovely. And if we put the pitch, let's put the dynamics on high and put the pitch to normal. To what that sounds like. Oh, listen to that. That's me just playing a, an E flat chord. That's really brilliant. And from, so we've got from, so I'll say that note. 
Yeah, I'll do a plug sound in a minute. Well, actually. Um, we've got this one note, and I'll play the same note, but switch this on. It's brilliant for sound design, this is. So there was it, we did that messed with that kind of, um, let's just track that down, that brass sound. Let me just. Blend some of it back in. Okay, so moving on, let's see what we've got here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, yes, yeah. Synth Master 2 doing this um, Indian Santor. I'll just switch on the Gong Amp. Open it up so you can see what's going on. I'll just pin it. And let's open up Synth Master as well. So I'll pin that. So So that's with it on as well now. So this is the sound this is, and this is kind of like a, a very plucky sound so So, oh, by the way, if anybody's interested in that particular sound, is in Sounds of the World. So, either on Synth Master Player or Synth Master Two. So, that's one of the Santo sounds. So, we'll switch this on. So, this works so well with that particular sound um, <coughs> because they're both of the kind of uh, Eastern origin, I guess. lovely and so if we put some chains on we're gonna get like a shimmer and if we switch the resonance on and whack it right up less dry mix more wet mix I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think this trip thing is just just off its head. Whoa. 
It's very resonant. Let's just stop that. Joe hasn't been very well. Brilliant, so love that. Let's try it with something though, that again, something with uh, an ethnic vibe. So, uh, yeah, let's try it with this Mystic Oriental pad sound. And I'll switch it off. <laughs> Or maybe Miss Mystic Pluck. I'm kind of looking for something a bit more. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it brilliant? It's, it, you know, it, it reminds me of like, like Tibetan temples and the, the whole thing, you know, that whole kind of Zen vibe. Okay, so let's have a listen to a couple of these factory presets. I, get, I tell you what I'm going to do with the factory preset. I'm going to run these with a piano. So I have here um, the grandeur. So I open it up. Just lock this. The grandeur from Contact. So it boot up a bit. And. I'm gonna just open this and another instance of gong on here. Right. So you with for the presets, because you know exactly how a piano sounds, so These pianos, these contact pianos. Give it a little bit of reverb. So, first of all, we'll go to this factory, we'll go to this minor house, and uh, this is. I'm gonna change I'm gonna switch my microphone off for this so you're just hearing the actual presets so where where are we
It's a nice example of the use of the pillow to dampen the resonance. So no dry mix there, so. This one's called Chain Reverb. Hope you're all doing well as well. See, you don't... This is one called Copper Song. We don't get loads of presets because you don't really need them. This is nice. That's really nice for playing like kind of slow. It like swells up in the background. <laughs> so. Brilliant nice. Really nice sight, really interesting stuff this is. Let's turn the trip off. So, let's see why we got a few more. It's also nice that you have the randomization.
probably that's probably true, all Rick. When people make, you know, effects that are, are not your normal kind of what you would expect, like Flanders, reverbs, choruses, echoes, delays, all that kind of thing, filters, some, but something that's like truly, truly original. The truly original thing of this is the fact that the actual hardware was made in 1932, which is really interesting to me. another nice sound to blend a little bit of the old dry in with that make it stereo to run on a factory. Nice and subtle. And then... Brilliant. <laughs> uh, 
And then this is called The Witch. So oh, it's another kind of... Well, I have the uh, all the dry signal out. Which is really nice. And then last one of the core of the patches. That's brilliant, isn't it? do go back to this totem uh, the landfill totems I think I'll run that warped chords but give it some And then I'm going to put in, oh, very soon I'll be doing a, a video on this, which is called Reels, which is just absolutely awesome. This is an audio thing app, uh, a plug-in, which simulates uh, an old uh, 70s reel-to-reel, uh, -reel, which is really, really, really good, though. So we can do that in a couple of days. It's really nice. But I'm going to put in things... Uh, uh, the audio thing wires which is the other uh collaboration that they did with uh Heimbach. so which is really nice together so let's drag up some motor noise i, I love all this lo-fi stuff i do i, I can't tell you I've got this. <laughs> and then we can
the ability to create all this texture. Guys, thanks very much for joining me this evening where we had a good mess around with Gong Amp, which is just awesome. Tried it with lots of different instruments and things. We finished off with adding a bit of the old wires plug-in from the same developers. Audio Thing and uh, Heimbach. <clears throat> awesome stuff cool beans anyway brilliant i'll play it for another minute or so and then i will see you all very soon i'll just mute this now and i'll see you later Ta-da!